This video is sponsored by Savala. More on them later. Modern systems handle millions of users, process massive amounts of data, and stay reliable no matter what. And to do that, they require mastering a few more concepts than simply knowing how to spin up a Next.js project and then vibe code yet another to-do app. Everything starts with knowing how the web itself works. When you access a website, DNS translates the domain name into an IP address so your browser knows where to find the server it needs to reach. The connection is then established via TCP IP and TLS will provide security so information can't be read or changed by anyone intercepting your traffic. The actual communication is performed via the HTTP protocol with the client sending requests and receiving responses from a server. REST is a common way to structure this communication using HTTP, while GraphQL lets clients request exactly the data they need in a single request, reducing over and under fetching. gRPC is a more modern method that can send data faster and more efficiently by using a binary format. Stateless services don't keep any memory of past requests, which makes them easier to scale. Stateful services remember information about each client, which can make certain features easier but adds complexity. The communication can be synchronous, where the client waits for a response before continuing, while asynchronous communication moves on immediately and handles the response later when it arrives. One level higher, load balancers take incoming requests and distribute them across servers so no single server is overwhelmed. They use algorithms like round-robin, list connections, or weighted distribution depending on the situation. Proxies sit between clients and servers and can act as security filters or content accelerators. Forward proxies work for clients making requests, while reverse proxies sit in front of servers. Content delivery networks are a type of reverse proxy that stores copies of files like images and videos in many locations around the world so users get faster access. API gateways handle requests for microservices. They can check if a request should be allowed, limit how many requests each client can send, and route requests to the right service. Web servers like Nginx and Apache receive HTTP requests and serve web pages or API responses. Databases store the data these systems depend on. SQL databases use structured schemas and are best when you need clear relationships and strong consistency. No SQL databases are flexible and can store unstructured or semi-structured data, making them better for systems that need to handle many different data types or large amounts of data across multiple servers. Indexing creates fast lookup paths in the database to make queries faster. Normalization organizes data to remove duplication and improve data integrity, while denormalization adds some duplication back in to make reads faster. Replication copies data to multiple servers, so the system can keep working if one server goes down. Sharding splits data into smaller pieces across different machines so systems can store and process more information. Partitioning divides data by criteria like time or region to spread load. Cap theorem says in distributed systems, you can only fully guarantee two of consistency, availability, and partition tolerance at the same time. PASLC extends this idea by considering latency and consistency trade-offs even when there's no network failure. Transactions let you group database operations so they all succeed or fail together. Isolation levels control how transactions interact to avoid problems like dirty reads or lost updates. Data modeling means designing how data relates and is stored so it can grow without major changes. Caching stores frequently access data so it can be retrieved faster, reducing database load and latency for users. Tools like Redis and Memcached provide in-memory storage for cached data. Cache strategies define how data gets replaced when space runs out. LRU removes the least recently used items. LFU removes the least frequently used. TTL sets an expiration time on cached data. Write-through caching updates both the cache and database immediately, while write-behind caching delays database updates to improve speed. Cache invalidation updates or clears outdated cache entries, so users get fresh data. Messaging and queuing systems allow services to communicate without waiting for each other. Message queues like Kafka or RabbitMQ temporarily store messages so they can be processed later. Event-driven architecture uses events to trigger actions in other parts of the system. The publish-subscribe model has one service publishing messages and other services subscribing to receive them. This helps systems stay responsive and scalable because work can be spread out and processed asynchronously. And the most important thing is that system communication between microservices needs to be reliable. Service discovery lets services find each other automatically. API rate limiting controls how many requests clients can send to prevent overwhelming services. Circuit breakers detect when services fail and temporarily stop sending requests to avoid making failures worse. Retry logic gives systems a way to try failed operations again. 
Idempotency means repeating the same request multiple times, doesn't cause unintended effects, like charging a customer twice. Scalability and performance strategies keep systems fast and able to handle more users. Horizontal scaling adds more machines to handle increased load, while vertical scaling upgrades the resources of existing machines. CDNs and edge caching improve performance by bringing data closer to users. Read replicas let databases handle more read operations by duplicating data across multiple servers. Balancing data consistency and availability is important because stricter consistency can limit availability during network issues. Security measures keep systems and user data safe. Authentication verifies who a user is and authorization checks what they are allowed to do. OAuth, JWT and API keys are common tools to handle these tasks with HTTPS and TLS encrypting data in transit so it can't be intercepted. Encryption can also protect data stored in databases or files. DDoS protection, throttling and rate limiting help systems stay online even when attacked. High availability and fault tolerance keep systems running when failures happen. Replicating services across data centers provides protection if one location has an outage. Failover strategies redirect traffic automatically when a server or region fails. Leader election using algorithms like Raft ensures systems agree on which server should make decisions. Health checks, monitoring and alerting give visibility into system problems so teams can respond quickly. Putting these ideas into practice by designing complete systems brings everything together. Building something like a URL shortener needs knowledge of storage, caching and scaling. A rate limiter service needs to understand caching and time-based counters. File storage systems like Google Drive require handling large files, metadata and user permissions. Notification systems need messaging retries and delivery guarantees. Messaging apps, social networks, write booking platforms and streaming services all combine these fundamentals in different ways, requiring careful choices to balance speed, consistency, reliability and cost. Understanding these concepts makes it possible to build systems that handle growth, stay reliable under pressure, and provide fast, secure experiences to millions of users around the world. And, once you have your system ready, you'll need a good hosting solution, and this is when today's sponsor comes into play. Savala is an all-in-one, no-friction platform as a service for deploying anything ranging from interactive apps to databases or static sites, offering cloud-native performance and a seamless dev experience with advanced deployment pipelines, instant preview for apps or static websites, and one-click deploy templates to accelerate your development process. Under the hood, Savala is leveraging Google Kubernetes Engine across 25 regions, and thanks to Cloudflare's Edge Network integration, your static content is globally optimized for speed. Check out the link in the description and you can get started for free with a $50 credit, no hidden fees and predictable payments.